What's up, everybody? This is Wrestling His Life, and welcome to the show. Here again with yet another wonderful video. Now, this time it's on the Justice nominee, Amy Connie Barrett. Uh, basically, Trump has selected her to replace the justice that passed. Uh, I forgot her name. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been, what, two weeks now? Um, Ginsburg. Okay, Ginsburg. All right, so I'm um, reading an article. There's a bunch of articles. So basically, uh, she leans towards quote-unquote conservative values and stuff like that. So people on the left, they wonder, they say, well, uh, if they pick her, you know, it's going to create some imbalance. And a lot of people are fearful that uh, based on a point of view that she ex she has expressed in the past, that once she, be she takes on the highest seats of the legal system of the nation, of the United States, that uh, quote unquote, a lot of progressive things that people have pushed forward under, you know, Ginsburg will be reversed, right? And this is something that we've been talking about. Uh, I know a lot of people don't, don't like to get into it. Albert Pike, if you look him up, he, in one of his conversations, and even Yuri Bezmenov, he talked about how they will use the liberals and all that stuff to push an agenda. And then somebody else will come in, a new administration, who's going to reverse all of it, right? So let us get into the article and see what it says. Mm, yes, okay. It says, Hemi Connie Barrett is Donald Trump's pick to fill Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat, according to multiple reports. And judging by Barrett's past comments, her confirmation will squarely put abortion rights and health care on the chopping block. This says uh, Barrett, she's a devout Catholic who has an intractable belief that life begins at conception. So already here, we have somebody who's going to take on the highest seat who believes that uh, life right, begins. And this is the sad thing that we've come to. And one of my favorite quotes that I've come up with is perversion has no uh, perversion has no limits. We've come in a point in this society, this Western society, that you have to debate when life begins. <laughs> this is this is the point we've come to. That's why abortion is pushed in this country. Millions of babies have been aborted because of this quote unquote loophole. Questionable. Does life begin when you're born or does it begin when you're conceived? That is the question. Let's continue. She has said Roe and versus Wade ignited a, na a national controversy by jumping on the abortion is issue rather than letting each state decide. She has said in the past she doesn't believe Roe will be overturned. I don't think the core case, Roe's core, holding that women have a right to an abortion, I don't think that will change. Adding, but I think the question of whether people can get a very late term abortions, you know, how many restriction can be put on clinics. I think that will change. Watch this, 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 because you have to look at the point of view. They say what she didn't say is there's a majority on the courts that want to overturn rule. Will she go along? <laughs> so they're like, oh man, if she gets on, she's going to side with those guys who are against abortion. So, what do we do? We've moved, we've come so far. Ginsburg is gone. Um, <laughs> uh, she said, uh, Barrett also railed on the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare's birth control mandate, saying it's a grave violation of religious freedom. She said during a first com confirmation hearing, the Catholic Church teaching that abortion is always immoral. 
she signed a petition back in 2012 claiming the birth control mandate is a violation of religious liberty. So, uh, you know, this this article is against it. Uh, this, uh, this article is actually from TMZ, so uh, you should already know. Uh, but there's all the articles. So basically, uh, they say that Barrett was a professor at Notre Dame School of Law for 15 years. If she is confirmed and it looks like she has the votes, there will be a six to three ma majority on the high court, which put abortions, abortion rights, the Obamacare, LGBTQ rights, voting rights, and many other fundamental issues and policies in a crosshair of the justices. So a lot of people are fearful of what's coming. Right? Let me read another article. It says, campaigners uh, fears setbacks on abortion, healthcare, and more. Uh, they talk, they're basically praising Ginsburg. Oh, she's a pioneer, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, it, <coughs> hold on, let me, uh, let me make a sad <laughs> hair voice. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let's mm. mm. see. Hey. Hey. Mm. Hey. <laughs> okay. Okay. It is. It is a particular. It is. <laughs> Hold on. I need to get this right. Hold on. <laughs> hey. It is a particularly painful irony. The much of our legacy is at great risk of being undone by another woman. It's a tragic irony. <laughs> <laughs> and this was the complaint of this lady called Lucinda Finley, a professor at the University of Buffalo School of Law. And, you know, going back to what happened, he said on Saturday night, Donald Trump nominated Amy Connie Barrett. If confirmed, the 48-year-old uh, 48 will make history as only the second woman to join the court after nomination by a Republican president. But for women's rights experts, who are these experts? That was ex It's ambiguous. Who, who are they? We need to know these guys that will do little to mask what Trump actually wants. Judicial philosophy is warm to co corporate interests, but cool on healthcare and reproductive rights. <sighs> ah. This vacancy represents a pivotal voice and moment in time where many of the freedoms that we have held dear really hangs in the balance. <laughs> Warren Rachel Sussman, Vice President of State Policy and Advocacy at the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. <laughs> Action Fund? What? <sighs> this is comedy. I need some money. What? Why they send it to these guys? I need the money. It should come to me. So her uh, nomination is scaring a lot of people. So man, so well, I'm just an informant. I'll put the uh, link to the article. You guys can go and read it for yourself. But basically put her nomination got a lot of people on the liberal left scare and people who support things like abortion which is according to the scriptures since i'm a bible person uh it's against the most high uh it's evil i have a video uh on my channel called abortion uh just look it up on my, my all videos and you see it on my channel so and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe like share this video uh you are really i really appreciate it so yeah <laughs> this is all so far about this lady as you can see that's her you know 
and they're with uh, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump. Make America great again. Yeah. All right, guys. I appreciate your support. Thanks. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to uh, be back with more videos. I I'm doing my best, guys. I'm trying to, you know, uh, get this thing going. Just make a bunch of videos. Just leave it there so you guys can digest it. But every day there's so many news coming. This this could be a full-time job. This this is a lot of work. That's why I'm taking this time on, on my weekend, free time, so I can actually make this video. So I appreciate the support, guys. You guys are the reason why I'm making this kind of stuff, to keep you entertained and at the same time inform you. So stay tuned. I'll be seeing you guys real soon. So peace out. I'll see ya. Be careful. Wear your mask.